this particular story happened in the UK. Um, and so, uh, in a nutshell, a rogue employee, sound familiar, um, creates uh, a little bit of a, a, a Twitter storm by, let me read to you, and remember, don't, don't kill the messenger because I didn't write it, this tweet. Vodafone UK is fed up of dirty homos and is going after Beaver, which I'm not really sure what the second part means, but, you know, I'm an innocent guy, but uh, I know what the first part means. You know, obviously, like, the ease of being able to spit out something that disgusting um, is, you know, under a corporate brand, um, shows how vulnerable companies are in this day and age, especially where we're giving employees access to our corporate uh, messaging now in the form of Twitter and Facebook, etc. Um, so an element of control moderation is one thing. The 19-year-old intern or twintern that, you know, might be drunk. It's the equivalent of drunk dialing or drunk texting. Now people are drunk tweeting and drunk Facebook messaging. This is the danger of what happens when it becomes too familiar. You know, familiarity breeds contempt. The ease of being able to just type something without thinking and hitting the publish button or the send button or the upload button uh, is, is almost putting us in a position where we almost have to check ourselves and double check. For whatever reason, how many times have you done the been BCC'd and then hit the reply all? Or how many times have you hit the reply all when you just wanted to hit the reply button? That guy's such a douchebag and you've replied all to your boss. Um, so we've got to be really careful in this age of information that we aren't, you know, acting too quickly without thinking. In the case of Vodafone, I don't think um, this was really anything that's going to linger and be a stain on their permanent record. You know, thankfully, even though Google is crawling and spidering and indexing tweets, it's still not at a point where one tweet um, can be that noose that hangs you. Vodafone immediately suspended this employee to investigate um, what had happened and issued another tweet. You know, I like the way, by the way, they responded to a rogue tweet with another tweet by, by saying basically the actions were deplorable. Um, they actually said we weren't hacked because people believed that they'd been hacked. How could a brand ever say something like this? A severe breach of rules by staff in our building dealing with that internally. We're very sorry. So definitely pluses in terms of being able to address it quickly, to be decisive, to respond promptly. But at the same time, I think, you know, the story behind the story here is that we really need to start thinking through just a little bit more what we say, how we say it, and when we say it, or maybe I should say how quickly we say it. Jaffe at power.com, Jaffe at Jaffe Juice on Twitter. Too many Jaffe's. Never enough Jaffe's really? for me. Never enough. Okay. Can't be enough Jaffe's in the world. Jaffe, 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 Jaffe Juice. It's time to flip the funnel. Now, pick up a copy of my new book, available wherever books are sold.